if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you are listening to God, Sex, and Love, your daily dose of inspiration and juice. It is January the 28th, 2022, and today the topic is your will, your way. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. Um, as for my yesterday, um, I believe, right? It's, it's Friday, right? I get my days mixed up, y'all. Let me make sure. Yes, yes, today is Friday. So let me go ahead and just make my announcements. First of all, I hope that you all tune in to God, Sex, and Love, the talk show tonight, because you guys are going to meet Mr. Boomer Smith of OK Boomer Productions, Um, my main guy, man. He edits the show and all that good stuff. So yes, uh, Mr. Boomer Smith will be featured on tonight's episode of God, Sex, and Love. So I'm very excited for you all to meet him. Like I said, he's a member of the Dream Team. And yeah, man, y'all can see that this thing is bigger than little old me. So thank and praise God for him. And I hope that you all check that out at 7 p.m. tonight. Shout out to whoever's watching me live. Good morning. Um, Yesterday was cool. You know, yesterday was fine. Um, I ended up helping out my sister uh, with Anchor for Blotomy Institute. Y'all know my sister has a school, right? So I ended up helping her out last night. Um, using my skills as an actor to uh, give her uh, students a mock interview. Um, so, yeah, shout out to Anchor for Bottomy and everything like that. Um, I think they're going to have no problems in their interviews. But, hey, you know, what do I know? But I'm just saying. <laughs> um, I think all of her students did really well and everything like that. So shout out to Anchor for Bottomy. As well, speaking of, of course, this idea came from none other than my mother, Evangelist Evelyn Ann Adams O'Neill. Excuse me, Adam, Evelyn Ann Adams Sims O'Neill. I like to call out all her, her whole name <laughs> and whatnot. Um, yeah, she came up with that idea of doing the mock interviews. And like I said, I mean, you know, my mom's an idea generator. I'm a my idea generator. It just It just keeps going and flowing like that. But, um, yeah, so shout out to her as well. Y'all can check out her organization, Inspirational Outreach. And speaking of, y'all know that they have an event coming up on February the 19th, y'all. It's called the African Valentine's Gala, right? So if you guys want to support an awesome organization, come out for a good time, everything like that, then check out that information on Inspirational Outreach on Facebook and everything like that. Um, I think that's all of my announcements per se, I believe. Um, I mean, well, y'all know Bro Bros Bites is doing like a, a special for, for Valentine's, right? So we're partnering on that. So yeah, check that out if that's something you're interested in. Getting some services from Bro Bros Bites and uh, yours truly, you know, yours truly, MiracleWine.com. You know, we're providing some dinners and whatnot. Um... We had a chance to chit chat a little bit yesterday, and so um, again, so many ideas, so many things to do. But yeah, man, um, I might reflect a little bit more on like where my mind is and and everything I got going on in the after show. So let's go ahead and get into the juice this morning. So um, I did my prayer meditation, um, and afterwards, I just took an extra moment to just pray and thank God, you know, for everything, and. Um, at one point in my prayer, I asked God, you know, just to, you know, do his will, his way. And that was the inspiration. That was the inspiration. I ended up looking up verses centered around that idea. Um, then I ended up breaking up the idea and uh, looking up like God's will, God's way. And most of the verses that I'm going to be sharing this morning was uh, verses that I found under God's will. Um 
So I guess I left off the God's way part. But I mean, I think they all go hand in hand. Um, so yeah, here we go. <laughs> so the first verse I want to share this morning is 1 Peter 2 and 15. It says, for this is the will of God, that by doing good, you should put to silence the ignorance of foolish people. So, yeah, um, I noticed that a lot of the verses that I'm sharing this morning has that phrase in it, for this is the will of God. So I found that to be interesting. I hope that you all check those verses out for yourself and let them marinate on your heart, souls, and minds today. But, um, yeah, I mean, well, I guess it, from what I'm gathering here, you know, it is the will of God for us to do good. Um, now, in particular, in this verse, it says to put the silence, the ignorance of the foolish people, but um, obviously, I believe that's just a combination of everything. Like, as you do good and it just flows and others are inspired to do good. And it just, it just continues and goes on and on. Um, the next verse I want to share this morning is 1 Thessalonians 5. I want to start at 16 and then we're going to go through 18. So uh, 16 says, rejoice evermore. 17 says, pray without ceasing. And then 18 says, give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So uh, if you ever wonder, like, what is God's will for me? Like, what am I supposed to do? Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Um, you know, starting with rejoicing evermore and praying without ceasing. Um you know, sometimes we might find that difficult to do, depending on whatever your circumstances is and whatever you're going through and everything like that, like that. But as this verse here says, it says, give thanks in all circumstances uh, for this is the will of God. So, again, um, no matter what your circumstances are, there's, I guess what I'm gathering here is there's always going to be something to be thankful for. Um you know, even if it's just down to, okay, you have another day of life, you know, um, if you have nothing else, but you've been gifted this day, you know, another day to live and breathe, um, on earth, <laughs> then that's still something to be thankful for, you know? Um, now, obviously I believe that as we reflect on this, you might realize you have a little bit more than that, but sometimes people might feel like they don't have anything but that, right? Um, you know, um, it's possible. So I'm just saying, I get it. I totally understand if you're in a circumstance where you feel like I don't have much, I don't have anything or however you may feel. But um, I think, again, the more you reflect on it and the more you focus on God and his will, you're going to see that you have way more to be thankful for than you might think. So that is something that's a little bit of a challenge today. But uh, yeah, I hope that uh, encourages you and inspires you this morning. Now, Proverbs 3 five through six, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. So there you go. I mean, yeah, like I just said a moment ago, you might feel as if you don't have much, you might feel like you don't have anything, but, um, that's something that you need to cast away, friend. That's something that you need, you know, that's like leaning on your own understanding. Your own understanding is telling you, I don't have anything, all right? But um, as you would trust in the Lord with all your heart and and actively, you know, pursue this idea of not leaning on your own understanding, then, you, you know, and again, even as this verse is say, acknowledging God in all your ways then you're going to see him make straight your paths. Again, like I, I just said a second ago, um, you know, as we do these things, you're going to see that you have a lot more to be thankful for than you think. Or, um, you know, there's a lot more that God is doing in your life. Uh, you know, so it, it's a lot to think about there. Um, you know, y'all can let that marinate on today. <laughs> uh, let me see. I got maybe a couple more verses to share this morning. Let me see. 1 John 2 and 17, it says, And the world is passing away along with its desires, but whoever does the will of God abides forever. You know, I hear this phrase all the time. Oh, you only live once. YOLO, life is short. All this stuff. And um, I mean, you know, I do believe that 
there may be some truth to that, you know, I mean, even the Bible says that, you know, our life is like a vapor, you know, and everything like that. However, um, I guess those of us that believe in the Bible, we understand that life goes on beyond now, right? Life goes on beyond this. And so, um, so even if the world is passing away, as the Bible says, um, it says here, whoever does the will of God abides forever. So, um, again, I don't think that we necessarily think about this. <laughs> uh, I don't think we live like we think about this, like we think about the act of afterlife or what happens. I mean, obviously there's no way to know right until you pass. Um, if you, if you look at it from that angle, right. If you look at it like, Oh, well, how do you know, um, outside of faith? Right. So yeah. Um, but I guess my thing is you don't want to wait until the end and then be like, oh, wait, everything <laughs> I thought was wrong. I mean, you know, like my mom would say um, that it, she didn't wouldn't say it exactly like this, but it, this is my way of saying what she would say. It's kind of like a 50-50 chance, right? Either everything in the Bible is true or it's not. So, and then we get to the end and then we don't, I guess we find out, right? And uh, so in the event that, let's say it's not true, then what have you lost by doing the things that the Bible say uh, or doing the will of God or everything like that? Like, what have you lost? But if in the event that it is true, then it's like you've lost everything. That's like a huge margin when you think about it. Um, but hey, I'm just I'm just throwing out little things to think about. <laughs> throwing out some things to think about, y'all. 50-50 chance, man. 50-50 chance. Um, yeah, uh, as they say, the stakes are high. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, let me see. I mean, I've got another verse to share this morning. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Oh, Ephesians 5 and 17. It says, therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Ooh, that actually made me think about that first verse this morning. Um, <laughs> Where uh, it says the will of God, uh, for this is the will of God, that by doing good, you should put silence to the ignorance of foolish people. And if, it's very interesting that I'm wrapping up with this verse here that says, uh, therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of God is, or excuse me, understand what the will of the Lord is, or what it actually says there. And so, yeah, man, um, Plenty of verses to give us an idea of what the will of the Lord is. I mean, I've shared some on today that, you know, literally says, and this is the will of the Lord. Um, you know, but yeah, plenty of verses in the Go Deeper section to, you know, uh, peruse <laughs> and let marinate on your hearts, souls, and minds today. Um, that's the juice, y'all. That is the juice. But the Bible verse of the day is Luke 6 and 45. It says, a good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaketh friends. I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow, if the Lord's will. Bye-bye. <laughs>your girl miracle sims and you already know that your girl is now an author and my very first publication is none other than a creation inspired by the juice that's right friends you can go on amazon.com and find the juice 30 day bible study journal and this friends i hope and pray will help you create your own bible study experience similar to the one that your girl here shares with you every day here on God's Sex and Love.